like a hell cut. Before we get started, I have a favor. If you enjoy my content and want to see me continue to improve in both quality and size, please check out my Patreon linked in the description. Any amount helps and it is greatly appreciated. There are so many rewards for each level of donation, so go check it out. Now back to the video. Overwatch and Blizzard plus StarCraft by extension were more or less disappointing and unfulfilling in 2020. Lacking in content, StarCraft going officially into a maintenance mode, receiving its last new commander in 2019's BlizzCon in Arcturus, and them saying that there's never going to be any more content at least however they did get the custom campaigns tab but it's limited not very interesting well on the overwatch side we did have quite a few things come around this year but not as many as we usually do we did of course get echo finally getting introduced to overwatch after being teased and revealed back in 2018 i believe i think that's accurate i really don't know Whenever Ash was uh, revealed as well, we finally got her. On top of that, we did see several of the uh, new hero challenges that we have been getting more recently in the past two years, with Ash's Mardi Gras in the first quarter, Maestro Sigma in the second quarter, Tracer's Comic Book Challenge in the third, and Symmetra's Restoration Challenge in the fourth quarter. Along with the Tracer Comic Challenge, we got a series of comics, the uh, Tracer London Calling, or something along those lines comic and we have three of five so far in 2020 i'm assuming we'll get the next two sometime this month and then sometime next month so they're coming out about every month but this year we didn't really see a lot we saw them ramp up balancing though i think that mainly started last year uh there's been more de uh, devotion to it this year and because of it we've seen improvements to many of the characters in the game we've seen the toning down of both shields still after repeating the process of nerfing them the double shield coming back in 2019 they've officially i think settled where they're going to be and they've also reduced the healing as well so now fights are a lot quicker games go a lot quicker both healers and tanks don't have as much game breaking game changing impact but they are still useful Outside of that, though, we do have a more resilient Ryan and a more consistent Soldier 76 because of these more frequent balance changes. Some characters have been kind of pushed to the wayside, others have been made strong, Brig is still being bullied to the dirt, receiving buff, and then nerf. Buff, and then nerf, and then nerf, and then nerf, and then a little buff, and then nerf, 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 as she's had her whole lifetime. In big news, though, we did see later this year, like very recently within the past two months, the new deathmatch map, Kanizaka, added to the PTR, which apparently has some lore stuff attached to it. <clears throat> uh, maybe new character information attached to it. Well, that's, that's still to be seen. It's in Japan, right next to Anamura Tower, which is really cool. Outside of that, we didn't really see anything different. We did see some challenges added to the Archives event and Halloween event this year. Uh, we also saw the freeze uh, tag style winter brawl called the freeze Thro freeze thaw deathmatch and like i said plus weekly challenges with each event sort of like a battle pass it's still overall underwhelming right, since overwatch 2 which should have come out already if it wasn't for covid is taking up the primary development time we are not getting any new heroes barely any new content events nothing like that no new missions for the archives of it nothing we are very deep in a content drought now, i think that's going to continue until near the end uh, unless some unless they decide to release the beta for overwatch 2 uh blizzcon line this year um i can guarantee it'll probably be in a content drought until i'd say november whenever they're planning to release overwatch 2 if that does end up being according to a new art book leak that's looking what it's going to be um we did though today i'm not going to cover it because it requires me to do a lot of reading um what looks like it could potentially be a hero teaser talking about kanizaka um a, a character who is the sword master for the shimada clan and her husband is a smith who's been captured by a rival to the shimada clan but it looks like they reference or the letter she wrote, writes references her daughter and we're thinking that her daughter might actually end up being the new character the nine-tailed fox character that was 
keys on the Kanazaka map, but we really don't know. Uh, over, overall, there hasn't been a lot. I mean, we were expecting <laughs> we were expecting a Paris rework this year. We were expecting a whole new map, that, like a, a full map, not just deathmatch map, a full map this year. But we haven't really got that. I mean, we did. He, Jeff Kaplan did say we would get at least one more map before it was released. We, we thought it'd be like a competitive map, not a deathmatch map that less than half the population is going to see. And that's probably the most disappointing part. Is like there's a lot of stuff that we could have got. I mean, honestly, at this point, because Overwatch 2, the expansion that they're for some reason labeling as a sequel, uh, the first of many, most likely, uh, since it's been more or less delayed, I would have expected them to give us some of the content, or at least reveal some of the content from it. I would have loved to this year, or maybe some, or last year, or maybe sometime this year, boom, show off Sojourn's abilities. Uh, show off Malga, because I can guarantee they actually have him done too. Just give us something, because we, we are, <clears throat> like I said, very, very deep in a content drought. Now, maybe this uh, hero teaser map Four thing that we got recently baby that is teasing to a character coming uh i uh yesterday whenever this video comes out but if it isn't if it isn't here yet you know that i was wrong about this and it might come tomorrow since this is going out on wednesday uh or this might actually be on a tuesday and so you'll find out sometime today who knows i really wish we get another character uh again with same with the uh, micro video that you might see yesterday, you might see tomorrow, depending on when I decide to upload this one. This year, because of COVID, has been kind of disappointing. Uh, a lot of stuff with the games and stuff like that, like Halo would already be out. Overwatch 2 would most likely already be out. If it wasn't for COVID, we might actually have the cave update already out. But there's just a bunch of stuff that couldn't happen because of COVID. A bunch of stuff that was delayed, a bunch of stuff that was slowed down because of COVID. So the, the main summary of all these year in review of these games uh that you see from even other youtubers is covid screwed up everything it slowed down everything it, it, it pulled things from our grasp i mean we would probably have rainbow six quarantine out as well now um it was for covid it's probably gonna have to have a new name though because it's kind of a untimely name but who knows there wasn't as much this year i wish there was like I said, there was the comics, which revealed some lore, but not a lot. It's just a little bit underwhelming, honestly. I, I My hopes for this year is that we do actually get Overwatch 2 this year, but there's even some rumors saying that it won't be until BlizzCon Line next year. Like, more than a year from now, which I hope not. Overwatch will 100% be dead by that point, since by that point, like... If we're not getting Overwatch 2 this year, we're not getting anything from BlizzCon Online until the next BlizzCon Online. We're just not. That'll be a full year without any new content besides the skins, which quality-wise, I've not been as impressed with the skins this this year. There were a couple I've liked, but I haven't really been too impressed by them. Um, a lack of lore as well. We did get the whole Symmetra and Zen lore with the Symmetra Restoration Challenge and, of course, the Fisher Comic Challenge, but not a lot outside of that either. Both lore-wise and gameplay-wise, the game is more or less in a very dry and sad spot, and I hope we can recover from it at some point, but I don't really know. Uh, my, my wish list is just, please give us Overwatch 2 this year. And not late this year, sometime early in the year. Maybe on Overwatch's anniversary. That'd be great if y'all do that, Blizzard. Please. That'd be excellent. <laughs> but I, would, I, 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 of course, have a wish list of characters. I want Malga. I want Sojourn. I want Case. He might be that Predator Omnic guy that everyone is talking about. Uh, we're definitely not going to see Maximilian, but I'd like to see him as a character. And then Sanjay I'd like to see as a playable character. I'd like to see new characters. I'd like to see new maps. Of course, we're probably not going to get them for a while, so. I'll let you know as soon as I find out. So, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Follow me on my socials. 
keep up to date with the channel. Go to my Discord, join the conversation Patreon if you feel like supporting me. This is Matthew Avenger. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Peace out.